Hello guys, this is Vaish. So the UPSC result uh, is uh, expected to come any time this week. So maybe it can be delayed also because there are people telling like it can come only by November 15th, November 10th. So that and all is a different thing. Meanwhile, you have been analyzing papers from various sources. You would have calculated your score. Now uh, we are also going to do the same thing. We are going to give you more uh, genuine uh, answer keys and tell you the uh, things for different different subjects okay we usually do the vice versa upsc all the 100 questions together but because it's taking time for this year's analysis we are going to do subject wise okay so history questions in 2021 how many came how many were tough all those things we will discuss here so basically this video is not to explain you all the topics or teach you all the topics okay i'm not going to explain like how come this statement is right or wrong i will tell you from where i'll tell you the answer key anyway like which is correct but why each statement are wrong or right and that detailed discussion we cannot do it here we'll try to cover every question okay and this is just to show you the toughness level from where they were picked up what were the sources what were the type of questions came was the standard textbooks helpful including your ncrt and rs sharma and uh, spectrum and all and then what to do from next time then etc etc all these kind of uh, what to do for history okay what happened and what to do that kind of things we'll discuss through the questions which came okay so first thing how many questions came in 2021 from the history part history means it includes art and culture also okay ancient medieval modern art and culture so total 21 questions are there okay even though it's like 20 plus 1 you can tell i'll show you which is that one question ancient and medieval around 7 to 8 questions came and uh, modern history 7 questions came Art and culture six questions came and this also some questions you can overlap like you can consider art and culture as an ancient or ancient as a, a medieval that little bit uh, thing will be there because of the time lap uh, time overlap okay because the thin timeline gap is there between ancient medieval and all now about the toughness level which i showed you in the first screen the out of the total 21 medium to tough are 11 questions okay so this is usually uh, not what happens in U, uh, upsc history questions always will be like the easy and medium questions will be higher and the tougher questions will be lesser okay like four or five or something but here 11 questions i am calling it tough because it is not available in standard textbooks and i'll tell you the reasons also before going into the details okay so why it was tough irrelevant static fact which usually you uh, if it's fine, if found in standard textbook or NCRT, it is fine. But if you Google it and then find out in some Google Docs and all, then claim it, okay, this is this, then that's a very difficult static part. Okay. Then tougher options, meaning usually when you eliminate one option or two options, then still you will be able to solve it. But here you eliminate one, two, three, then only you will get the answer. You have to eliminate three of them, then directly get the answer. So it is very complicated options which they have set. Then older news item from 2015 uh, newspaper, 2017 newspaper. I'll show you the newspaper cutting also from which questions have come. Okay. Then absent in NCRT. Most of the questions absent in all the standard textbooks like Spectrum, Nitin Singhania, Ara Sharma, Satish Chandra, then uh, uh, Tamil Nadu textbook. Okay, all these lecture series we have and still none of this was useful in certain questions. And I don't know what was the reason they picked up to uh, picked up those questions. Okay. And before going into the questions, the complete coaching is going on free on our channel. You simply have to search Vice IAS or simply Vice you type in YouTube and you can see at least 11 to 12 of our faculty is continuously doing all the subjects in Hindi and English. Okay, the response has been very poor. If you do not uh, watch this and respond, then we will be having to move it everything to a paid platform or we'll have to stop most of them. Okay, already two, three playlists we stopped because the response was very poor. So please don't miss this chance because questions have come directly from these lectures. That also in screenshots, I'll show you. Direct Direct questions have come okay so we will go to the questions now so the first six easy questions we'll see which I know most of you would have easily solved even if nobody teaches you so which one of the following ancient towns is well known for its elaborate system of water harvesting and management by building a series of dams and channelizing water into connected reservoirs so this Dolavira, Kalibangan, Rakigari, Roper, everything was easy. Everything is what UPSC uh, is expected to ask and students prepare also. And this year, most important was Dolavira because it got the UNESCO World Heritage uh, recognition. So it was in news continuously since the last one year. So if you have static test or dynamic test, you should have been able to solve this. Okay. So if you take our revision charts in that uh, every uh, site is there. Dolavira, if you see here, it's mentioned large uh, sacred water reservoir. And here, if you see our test of uh, class 12th the history. Here again, uh, explanation, water reservoir is found in Dholavira. Then again, July current affair, if you see when it got the UNESCO uh, heritage site uh, from the Kutch region, tanks to store fresh or rainwater. So multiple places are there. So we can claim, anybody can claim. If nobody taught you also still, if you have done the basic NCRT and current affairs, you could have solved this question. Very, very easy question. Okay. So again, December current affair also, it's mentioned unique, complete water system. Okay. So this is the first easy question. Now, the second easy question is from Spectrum, which is a modern history thing. Subhash Chandra Bose story and international army, everybody you study and it's like very uh, easy question okay it's not like any twisted or complicated statement these three persons uh, Shah Nawaz Khan uh, Prem Kumar Segal and uh, Gurbaksh Singh Dhillon one Sikh uh, one 
uh, Hindu, one Muslim. These three people, just like that, it's mentioned in your Spectrum textbook in my lectures. It is there, which I took three, four years back. It is there everywhere. Okay, so this officers of the Indian National Army, you should have solved it. Okay, I'll keep on ticking also so that you don't have any confusion. So this one is the answer for this. And so it was an easy uh, Spectrum question. Okay, so this is the second easy question. Now the third one, again, a very simple question, repeated UPSC question. This Bethune School, okay, they could have made very tough questions out of it, but they asked her easy because they told themselves like it is the secretary and not the founder. And the answer is... Uh, uh, Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar, direct spectrum again, both in my test and in my lecture it is there. So here we made it complicated by telling it is founded by Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar and it is false statement. So answers should not have two. And here if you see, this is the secretary we have told you. So it's a very easy direct question. You should have solved it. Next question. Quit India movement. Everybody knows it's in August 1942. So again, they're asking 8th August 1942. So here, if you see in our lectures, detail, uh, two, three slides of data is there. And here, this adopted by AICC, if you had confusion, that also was there in Spectrum, AICC meeting at a Goalia tank, Quit India resolution ratified. And this is the lecture series. This is the test series, if you see, history full test. Here, the resolution to start Quit India, 1942. Goalia tank. So everywhere this resolution to start Quit India, August 1942 was mentioned easily. You could have solved it and I hope every serious aspirant have solved it and no problem would have come in the exam hall for these questions. Again, the two act. Okay, Montego Gems for Reform and the Government of India Act. This is there in your spectrum also, in your polity also. And both we have test series as well, we have lectures as well. That too in Hindi also, in English also. So you were supposed to solve it easily without even a doubt. Okay, because very, very easy statements came. Not like very complicated, complicated Viceroy's Council or anything complicated they did not ask. They just asked the voting right. So voting rights to all the women itself is wrong. All the women above age of 21 is wrong because the voting rights was given at 1919 only to a limited uh, franchise okay the people having uh, this uh, paying tax or education or something like that such people could have done it okay you should know 1909 only first uh, muslims got that separate electorate and all the 1919 obviously everyone will not get it that common sense if you apply this is wrong then by 1935 okay you know after that then few years later we got independence by that time women reserved seats also came like we had a separate muslim electorate La sorry later uh, question number, uh, sorry, statement number two, if you see here, women uh, reserved seats, separate electorate for women also, depressed class also, everything started in uh, 1935 Act. Okay, so that if you see, this is the spectrum screenshot. If you see here, direct elections, limited franchise based on tax, education, property, not like all women. Okay, so one is wrong, one is wrong, we are eliminating this and uh, uh, this, so two or neither one or two. So 1935 Act, if you take, it is separate electorate for women, labor class and depressed class. Okay. So this was there and so 2 is true. So 2 is true means this is the answer. Okay. So like this, this and all again, easy question I am telling because it's directly available in your textbook. Okay. So if textbook also you didn't study, then you will call it tough. But else it is a very uh, easy question. Now again, medieval India, which looks tough, but it is very easy because it's mentioned in your NCRT itself. You don't have to do any standard textbooks here. So Paragna, Sarkar and Subha, this is the order. So that in your NCRT, if you see, and in uh, Akbar related books and all, they have told Mughal kingdom is divided into Sarkar, Paragnas, Mahals and all. So which is bigger, which is smaller for that you should know. Like they uh, appointed Subedar in the Subhas. Okay. Like governor in a province kind of thing. You know, Mughal kingdom was divided into provinces. And in that provinces, they had Subha. And below Subha, they had Sarkars. Okay. Below the Subha, they have Sarkar. It is mentioned in the Akbar uh, book is there. Okay. In that book, it is mentioned. And again, you will now know like Paragna where it is. So again, if you see more detailing in the same textbook, same test uh, explanations, I have taken the screenshot. The Sarkar into which Subha was divided, meaning Subha is the bigger one. Sarkar was the uh, smaller one. After that, local administration comes below that. And in local administration, there is a sub-district level, which is Paragna. Okay. So Paragna, Sarkar and Subha. They are asking you ascending order. Okay. That also you should have known what is called uh, uh, ascending order. Else you would have marked uh, this one instead of that one. So again, answer is the smaller one, little bigger and the biggest one. Okay. Subha, Sarkar, Paragna. This is the answer for it. Do this again, easy question. So those were the six easy question. Now the next six questions, which I'm going four or five questions I'm going to show is easy to medium, meaning it is a medium level because it needs little more analysis. It's not so much direct. You had to do little uh, thinking in the exam hall. Okay. But it was available in our materials and any coaching institute who is teaching from standard textbook, this could have been solved. So here, if you see, from the decline of Guptas until the rise of Harshvardhana in the early 7th century. Meaning they are just asking you the timeline, which of the following kingdoms were holding power. They want to know between uh, this term, Gupta's term ending and this term. So Gupta's term, everybody will know 300 AD. Okay. If you had studied properly, the basics I'm telling, not like very detailed study. In Harshvardhana's time, they are still given like 7th century. Okay. So 700 AD. So in this timeline, who were there? That is what they're asking. So here, 
whenever five six options are there upsc is not expecting you to know all the things of all five they just want you to eliminate because options if you see there is no one two three four five six okay so you just eliminate the unwanted thing and get to the answer meaning here if it is this one you will common sense you will know that any medieval kingdom will not be there okay medieval kingdoms means after 9th century after 10th century 11th century when the uh, mughal sign on sorry the delhi sultan all comes that is when the medieval starts so that kingdoms if it's there you can eliminate that so if that is also not possible this is a direct thing in your textbook okay in textbook and we have a detailed mcq also in our full test if you see uh, this pushyabuti dynasty and the end of guptas okay end of guptas and end of mauryas every coaching institute teach you okay because it's a decline like decline of harappa decline of maurya decline of gupta decline of every big kingdom they teach you so that time what all happens also everybody will teach you so here if you see from the middle of the 5th century decline of the gupta started so they are also asking this decline of the gupta started and then after that fractured polity came into several independent sovereigns so they are also asking that holding power in north india okay which of the following were holding power so here if you see this maukhari of kanauj and pushyabuti of taneshwar they were controlling lands that time so if here pushyabuti of taneshwar maukhari of kanauj so three you need four you need okay from this basic learning three you need four you need so three and four means only b and c is left now okay now one two and six this one six and two any one you eliminate you will get the answer so this one if you see paramaras of malwa is mentioned in almost all textbooks yadavas is mentioned in almost all textbooks even if you don't know guptas of magadha or if you don't know maitrakas of vallabhi it is fine yadavas is there in your satish chandra textbook and any i think basic ncrt also it's there paramaras is also there in ncrt and satish chandra so this one you should have known so if you see which are the following medieval dynasties okay medieval dynasties are paramaras and malwas so that is one way now we will say okay still timeline is not mentioned so there are many many other questions like because the king boja is important in almost every textbook it is there including tamil nadu textbook paramara dynasty you had to know his timeline is in the 10th century so it will not be in the 3rd to 7th century so paramaras of malwa you can eliminate so when you eliminate two you come up with the answer 1 3 4 6 meaning 5 and 6 and all if you don't know also you could have solved it 1 3 4 6 okay so this again yadavas also as i told in multiple tests you have given the timeline if you see uh, 12th century 13th century so this doesn't fit into this timeline and this is what upsc was checking that's why i told this is easy by elimination but again in the exam hall you had to think little bit okay you needed extra uh, 30 seconds or 1 minute or 1 and a half minute to process this and then come to the answer so it is little tougher in that sense else it is a direct textbook question in a little lengthy way okay now the next one it was during the reign of altamish that the chengiz khan reached the indus then here it was during the reign of mohammed bin tughlaq that timur occupied multan and crossed the indus again both are crossing the indus means reaching india okay then it was during the reign of devaraya 2 of vijayanagara empire that vasco da gama reached the coast of kerala so here out of this everyone will know vasco da gama's timeline 1498 okay but that alone cannot uh, solve the question and this one entirely is there in our lectures in our test series and also in our revision charts so only revision charts i used to solve this question this was one of the revision charts given the invaders into india so in a single revision chart both chengiz khan and both timur's timeline and things are given so here if you see he reached the bank of indus and then came into india at the time of 1221 ad so 1221 ad means now you have to check whether altamish was there in the same timeline okay so that we'll keep it on hold because i have to show you another chart here if you see timur timur uh, was a muslim conqueror who invaded india in 1398 okay meaning he crossed the indus and it was the time of nasruddin mohammad shah this is a person again a tughlaq ruler very insignificant ruler who comes after mohammed bin tughlaq okay his time is after that so this is wrong two is wrong okay so that is there directly in our one revision chart itself so when you eliminate uh, two you are stuck with either one only or three only so you have to just check whether altamish time and this time is matching if it is matching there you got the answer directly so if you take the rulers full rajput dynasty onwards entire uh, till mughal empire started all the kings and timeline i have given important kings okay like i did not give this person's nasuddin mohammad shah timeline and all but it is again uh, clear through this one okay 1398 so here if you see mohammad tughlaq timeline is different before that so that is not needed here anyway so altamish if you see 1210 to 1236 this is the same timeline when chengiz khan came so answer is one only okay one only three you know or not doesn't matter but again in our another revision chart 
Devaraya two's time is also there. And there are plenty of MCQs about Vijayanagara kings in our thing. And Vijayanagara lecture also I have taken. So here if you see 1442 when this traveler, this is a traveler chart. So Abdul Razak, he came in 1442 during the time of Devaraya too. So 1442 is 50, 60 years before Vasco da Gama came, 1498. So three is wrong. Okay. So anyway, you could have solved it. Whichever revision chart you studied, you could have solved it. This is the importance of Vaishayas test series. Okay. So everyone would have done. Any coaching institutes you follow, please follow them strictly. You will pass the exam. What happens is you buy 10, 15 institute papers and at the last minute you jumble up everything and finally you cannot solve anything. Okay, so please see to it that you had solved this kind of easy questions because as I told out of 21 questions only 12 were possible to be solved by everyone. Remaining 9 or 10 were tough. Okay, so that everybody will leave. So you have to score in these areas which is taught to you. Okay, so next question. Again, many people told it's a tough question because these things are like nowhere there in any standard textbook. Okay, Hasti Malakshya Meshura. But Bhava Bhuti is there multiple times in multiple textbooks. So you should have known it. Okay, so this time if you see options playwright is something for the first time they have put else. They'll put Jaina monks, they'll put something, something and all. Okay, philosophers, temple architect, painters. Okay, so here answer is playwright only and it is mentioned in many, many test series of ours. Okay, so here if you see author of the play Malati Madhava is Bhava Bhuti. Okay, so he's a playwright. Then again, if you see... Bhavabhuti specific question is there. He's a court poet of some king at Kanauj. So he wrote uh, this thing. Okay, he's not a work. Okay, Buddha Charita is not a work, but all these three are his work. Okay, so this also is a learning for you for next time. Then here if you see there in explanation, we had post this Wikipedia screenshot where he is uh, noted for his plays. Okay, and his plays are considered equivalent to words of works of Kalidasa. So this is there in our test series, history full test question number 83 and question number 42. It is there and you should have known it. So Bhavabhuti is a playwright, you should have known it. So this is an easy question for who do from standard textbooks and one standard test series. Okay, now this one. This one again little bit twisted or where you have to think like the uh, Harsha question which you have to think little bit you have to see this. So here if you see they are asking Nizamat of Arcot emerged out of the Hyderabad. Mysore emerged out of the Vijayanagara. Rohilkand emerged out of the uh, territories under this one. So again you have to know the correct correct wars which happened. This is again the Carnatic war time and all related to that question. Okay. So here if you see. Battle of Ambur is there, which we taught in Spectrum also, and it is there in the Spectrum test also, test number four. So here, as part of this war, this Chanda Sahib, he led this, uh, 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 what is a war kind of thing against Nizam of Hyderabad, teaming up with different people. So this state of Hyderabad, from there only, these people go, full story I am not telling, but it's there in my test, you can read, pause and read this. So full thing happens and finally they enter Arcot, they march towards Arcot in this uh, second Carnatic war. Finally, they victoriously enter Arcot and set up that Nizamat. Okay, so he becomes the next Nawab. So this Nizamat of Arcot emerged out of the Hyderabad state under the second Carnatic war. So one is true actually. So if one is true, you have only one answer. Okay. Or if you knew the Mysore kingdom. Okay. Next one. The formation of direct question. Formation of Mysore kingdom was a result of. So we are telling battle of Talikota. So battle of Talikota here. First line. Vijayanagara kingdom end, ended and many small kingdoms rose up. This is exactly what they have asked. Vijayanagara kingdom emerged. Uh, sorry. Ended and emerged out of this uh, this thing okay Mysore kingdom emerged out so two is also true so but two alone if you knew many people have problem was that only in the exam hall they knew only this one so when you know only this one you are stuck with three options okay so you had to know one or you had to know three so that is why this little bit in the medium category I have put okay and this Royal Khan thing in later I'll explain because we have also not taught this in detail Royal Khan related thing is there I must or anything is there in our test and lectures but exactly this thing is not in one specific MCQ okay so that we'll discuss later but for solving this question you had just to know this first thing alone okay because nowhere else one was there okay so this is the medium level question now the toughest questions which I'm going to tell okay the 9 to 10 to 11 questions which are medium to tough okay so we'd see them so this one we call it easy or medium because it was uh, a inference which you have to do okay many questions used to come in the last three four years that they will not uh, ask something which you will find in books but you have to infer based on what you already know so this one halbi and ho if you were reading spectrum or if you were reading anything related to tribal related people you will you would have seen that these are tribes these are important tribes in central india okay so this uh, northwestern india dancers will go away and it's not name of any musical instrument it is not the name of any painting it is tribal languages okay so for that you had to have that reading that halbi and ho are tribes okay and this kui is actually there in nitin singh and a textbook which we also did not cover we and it's very like in a minute place it's mentioned just uh, like a passing sentence it's mentioned among various other languages like various tribal languages are and they have given hundreds of languages inside that is mentioned so that nobody can teach you okay if you are remember remember other things halbi and ho especially because tribal revolt there is a chapter in spectrum okay ho revolt is there ho and the chores and ho and the bills you see here this is my revision chart bills and ho chotanagpur okay here 1822 revolt was there so ho is a tribe 
Halbi is a tribe that you should have known because again if you see uh, uh, region wise central india south india east india like that we have given charts so in that here you see halba and halbi but again i have put it in the tougher section because nobody can by heart all these uh, tribal names okay nobody can do it how much ever you uh, prepare and how much ever brilliant you are in the exam hall you cannot recollect all these names so i have put it under tough question but again medium to tough category because it is a inferred thing okay it was there these names you should have at least have a, this thing like i have seen it pictorial memory you should have like okay i have seen this somewhere okay in the tribal section somewhere i have seen it at least that knowledge you had you could have inferred that is tribal language because that is the best possible option here okay so that way it is in medium to tough category now the next one which again is a very insignificant unwanted question which upsc is complicating last time also they asked like this kind of thing like for historical place they gave and right side they gave water scarce area okay like in uh, vidarbha region or any uh, rail seema any any uh, drought related news uh, items was in right side and the historical place was in left side same way this time they put left side uh, caves and right side they put river so this one you how much ever you study okay how much ever you see you cannot solve this or you cannot recollect it in the exam hall that is why it is tough question but have we taught it anywhere it is taught in the nitin singhania lecture okay which is going on now around 20 episodes have already come please go and watch that next year many many questions are going to be solvable from here it's completely free and uh, one month before the exam we told you please watch our lecture especially nitin singhania art and culture history revision many many videos we did environment biosphere and finally what happened is question came directly from there but still as i told you will remember ajanta is from sahyadri ranges or in aurangabad district or in maharashtra that much you will remember but this bogara river and all i am sure you will not remember that is why i have put it under of category okay so we are not here claiming that this is a very easy question we have taught it it's not like that we are telling you the source just to make you understand from where questions came so this came from nitin singhania but i accept it's a very very tough question okay so it is okay if you did not solve it you skipped it it's totally fine because you should not waste your time in that exam hall for this kind of questions okay so that is fine now again one of the most toughest questions i would say because writers and travelers of every possible country greek writers greek travelers italian uh, french uh any european country you take okay chinese travelers for every one they are writing their books everything we have covered because it's all there in uh, different different textbooks okay tamil nadu spectrum mara sharma i think at least 6 to 7 textbook i myself have taught you okay still they are some portuguese writer some person's name is some nunes or something he told about the women in vijayanagara empire okay so this problem is one two three options are there and you will have a tendency to eliminate you will have a tendency to eliminate wrestling or maybe accounting because options are also given like that you will have a tendency to eliminate so this problem was the options and the area of question everything was tough so here if you google okay you simply google this now you will get a google document in which the entire thing is there so google document if you see vijayanagara women were doing all these things and he is writes nunes writes he writes that uh, astrologers wrestlers soothsayers account of expense but this you will not find in any standard textbook okay not even in tamil nadu not even in ncert nowhere it's there so it is a difficult question but we will include it you in the future coming materials okay the more details about uh, uh, this person and during whose rule he came okay that is also next thing which upsc can ask so this achyuta devaraya his time only he came which is a, maybe a new information for you this is his um, structure this is sculpture and again more more details as i see his full name fernando nunes is there upsc picked up this and asked you and this whether it came in news it came in news 2017 a very detailed article about alpha women of hampi okay that too not in hindu not in indian express in the hindu business line edition paper this one article came and in that article it all is mentioned okay not like that nunes is there his name is not there but women of vijayanagara is like very great people and they were doing this this is not is mentioned here but who will go and study this old article and even who will make a test series for you based on these things so this was a very very difficult question and it is okay if you skipped it okay now this one static dynamic overall a tough question okay so here if you see 21st february is declared to be international mother language day by unicef this kind of thing upsc never ask and if it is asked it has to have some hint for you so the here hint is it is international mother language day something culture related something language related it will never be unicef okay unicef even if you don't know the date 21st february unicef is for children thing and many other uh, things which is there it is not for culture related thing okay it is unesco so this one is wrong okay but that will not help you solve the answer because here the it's a little bit static the demand that bangla has to be one of the national languages was raised in the constituent assembly of pakistan so constituent assembly of pakistan india you know the time 1940s 48 49 that time when they were framing or that time whether debate happened whether they somebody demanded this is what they are asking so indirectly we had it in our test series but it is a very difficult thing to remember for you so if you see unesco declared okay unesco so that is why the first statement is there unesco declared mother language day 19 uh, 99 
to commemorate this day. You see, February 21 is celebrated. That is okay. That is there in our test series also. And many people would have taught you. If you did basic current affair, you could have solved statement 1. But statement 2, we have indirectly told it like, it is to commemorate protest against West Pakistan's imposition of Urdu as the official language of East Pakistan. So East Pakistan, you know, present day Bangladesh, they wanted Bangla and this imposition of Urdu was the problem. But direct verbatim, direct this language, I have not taught you and I cannot claim it also and we are not claiming also. I am just telling you, this is the statement which came and this is the reason why it came. Okay. So February current affair, if you studied up to this much, you will know. So with this knowledge, a calculated guess, if you wanted, you can take it and answer is two only. Okay. Bangla, they wanted and then uh, Urdu was imposed and that is why this was a half claiming kind of question or half partial, I am telling you. But it is a tough question. Where it came in news, I will show you. That is more interesting. In the Indian Express, in the lifestyle uh, column, which nobody reads, no UPC aspirant will go and read lifestyle or sports or uh, cooking page or anything they are not going to read. In that, remembering Dhirendranath Datta who died for Bengali language. He was the one who, here if you see, Constituent Assembly of Pakistan. So this is a 2021 February news, but in the lifestyle column, that is why even we missed it in this particular uh, fashion. We did not mention this person's name or this uh, Constituent Assembly, but we indirectly told imposition of Urdu. So this is the reason this question was asked and uh, that doesn't mean now you go and start reading all the lifestyle thing, but I'm telling you this is from where the question came. Okay. Now, a very unwanted question again, a very a GK kind of question. So here if you see sent France Saviour, about him three statements are formed. Okay, even if one statement comes, it will be very difficult for students. They ask three statements. Okay, so here if you see, he was one of the founding members of the Jesuit order. Maybe it looks true. Okay, but that doesn't enough, that is not enough to solve. Second statement, he died in Goa and a church is dedicated to him. So if you are a person who goes to Goa and all you know there is a church dedicated to him that many people know because there is this uh, feast which happens every year and uh, people go there, his dead body is taken out and people see that dead body. So that kind of things are there. So you will know that there is a church, there is a, this thing. So for you, the answer will look like one, two, three. But here the answer is not one, two, three because of this slight thing which they made it wrong. He did not die in Goa. Okay, he did not die in Goa. Remaining everything is true. Remaining everything is true, but this particular thing is wrong. Because of that reason, you have to eliminate two here, eliminate two here, eliminate two here, and answer is one and three only. Okay, so this kind of unwanted GK detailing, no, not sure why they asked it, because this feast which happens every year, every year it is in news. Okay, it's not something significant for this year. So this, if you see, only place I could find it is in Tamil Nadu textbook. Okay, this actually screenshot is from Tamil Nadu class 11 textbook for which lecture series I have started. Okay, that is the reason we have started it. Next year when anything UPSC asks, we are going to claim it 100%. Okay, that is the reason every textbook is being done. So here if you see, this person was the founder of the Society of Jesus, arrived in Goa in 1942 and traveled here and there. That statement is there. So one is there in Tamil Nadu textbook. Okay, but he died in Goa is wrong. If you Google it, you will find that near China region, this is Sankian one island is there. There was uh, the place he died and his body was brought to Goa and dedicated to him a church was found because he did a lot of things here. Uh, Goa, a church was dedicated to him. So this GK, you will not find in any of the textbook which you study for UPSC. It will be there in any other GK current affair kind of book, but it will not be there in UPSC books. So it was a very, very tough question to solve. Okay. And this feast related every year is news, including the month of your exam, after your exam, before your exam. Every year, this news will be there in October, November time. Okay. Every year. So it is not a thing which you were supposed to by heart, but I'm telling you this kind of questions also UPSC have started asking. Now, this one, blind elimination, you could have got the answer because if you see, it is the only circular temple. One temple is given, Chausat Yogini Temple, uh, wherever it is. Okay. This is the only circular temple built in India. So, eliminate two here, eliminate two here, eliminate two here. Answer is one and four. And answer, one and four is really the answer also. Okay. So, now we will go to detailing. So, if you see, it is a circular temple built during the reign of some dynasty. Okay. This is actually true. It was meant to be promoting the Vaishnava cult. So here, if you see this Yogini, okay, Yogini, Yaksha, Devi, this and all, whenever you see, it is all related to the Shakti and women-oriented uh, temple, okay. Deity will be women, not this Vaishnava cult. So three is actually wrong, okay. Even if you eliminate three, you will still not get the answer. You will be stuck with uh, uh, one and two and uh, one and four, okay. Meaning one will be true with that. But now the, uh, this one, two or four, that is the only thing and this one. You know the parliament building? Parliament building was inspired from this. Such a rumor or such a belief is there among people. So this news item was there in the uh, 2019 paper. Okay. So if you see in Financial Express paper, this was their temples which inspired. And that too it is in 2019. It's not like uh, one year or one and a half year old. It's two years old. So temples which inspired design of Indian parliament, Madhya Pradesh, Chausat Yogini Mandir. So if you know parliament building looks like this, right? The old one. New one is coming which is triangle. That is different thing. So this one 
is the reason for asking this question. So blind elimination you could have solved or uh, this Vaishnavi thing you could have done and you will come to 1 and 2 and 1 and 4 and then best possible you will obviously eliminate this only thing and you will come to 1 and 4. So that way you could have to done it else it is a very very difficult question. Okay. Again an easy question it was supposed to be but the options if you see this made this question tough. Okay. Because Burza home, everybody knows, everybody teaches you. If you don't know this, you are a very weak and poor aspirant. Okay, because Burza home is there near NCRT, it is there near Arash Sharma. Anywhere you study ancient history or Neolithic sites, it will be there. Okay, so Burza home, rock cut science is a total blunder. It is not there because it's a Kashmir site, Neolithic site where pit dwellings are there, humans are there, and I think dog burial and all these things are there. So one is totally not there. Okay, but if you eliminate one also, there is no point because answer is again three only and two and three. So they are itself telling Ganeshwar is true. Ganeshwar is true and that is covered in our test series also because in class 12, Ganeshwar, uh, Jodhpur culture, it is there for copper wealth. Okay, detailed notes are given here. So here if you, because UPS itself gives to you, this knowledge which you have is of no use. Okay, you need to know Chandra Ketugar. And this Chandra Ketugar, I think only in one NCRT1 area, I saw it mentioned, but there is no explanation for that. So terracotta art is there or not, nobody can study and go. But as per the answer key, when you Google, you will find that it is true. Okay. So answer will be 2 and 3 for this. So this again many people attempted 3 I think but uh, if you google in certain areas it is mentioned Chandra Ketu Gar Terracotta. So answer is 2 and 3. So it's again a very very difficult question because of these blunder options which UPC have given. Okay. So unfortunately you are getting tougher questions in history. Now this is the Neolithic site again explanation size. Burza home anything they would have asked you could have solved from any standard test series or standard NCRTs. Okay. But Chandra Ketu Gar was tough and that options could not help you. This one again songs from prison nobody would have prepared i have to check again all my revision charts because we gave you hundreds of books and authors uh, revision chart but uh, we have to again double check it but as of now i think we have not taught it and it's not there in any of your textbook it's not there in spectrum it is not there in any Bipin chandra it is not there in any ncrt also okay songs from prison answer is uh, gandhi okay this book also if you want go and order in amazon and waste your time it's actually not good for any upsc aspirant but uh, this thing is what is asked it's a tough question Questions were expected from Bal Gangadhar Tilak because 1920 his de death anniversary uh, was there and 100 years completed recently. So detailed things like in jail he also wrote a lot of books okay Gita Rahasya then he translated many things many things he did in jail okay. But uh, Saroji Naidu also wrote books in jail Jawaharlal Nehru also wrote books in jail. So if you knew all the separate books each person wrote then elimination technique you could have used and done it. But that's a very bizarre idea of doing this and it's a very very tough question okay. So again by heart it no other option next time when UPSC asks you have to tell songs from prison is from this person Mahatma Gandhi okay. This again, a similar question where options made it tough. If you see this kind of options when they give, when there is no 1, 2, 3, it's always tough to choose. Okay. This again, if you see the first quarter of the 17th century, that you have to understand that it is 1600 to 1625. Okay. First quarter. So 1600 to 1625 means Europeans just came. Britishers just came. So when they came, first in Surat and Baroj, they set up the factory that everybody will know because it is there in the spectrum itself. Wherever you study, Surat and Baroj factories will be there. So one is there. With one you can eliminate only this and only this. So one only, one and two only. So now here what to do? One and this uh, chika call you have to know. Okay. So here if you see Trishnapalli is gone there itself. Trishnapalli anyway it's like Madras area and all later after the uh, French war, Karnatic war and all later only they get Trishnapalli. So but that UPS itself eliminated for you if you know broads. Okay. So again you are stuck with one only and one and two only. So this chika call you have to go and research because it is not there again in any of the standard textbook. It is not there in NCRT, R. Sharma, Spectrum, nowhere it's there. Okay. But I think uh, uh, the factory uh, was not set up. It was later only it was set up. So answer can be one only. But I have to research few more uh, things on this. Okay. But as of now, I think the answer is one only. Okay. So that we'll see if it is two also. I'll, I'll explain it more when we do the final Vice versus UPSC video. Okay. I'll uh, check all the anything wrong I did in this video. I'll do it there. Again, a uh, question which uh, most of you did not solve it and many of you did not read it and that is very good decision also because you cannot waste your time three minutes four minutes you cannot waste on a paper like this which was a very lengthy and very tough paper okay so this much reading and understanding this again this full concept we'll do a separate video for you even though this is not there anywhere in any textbook so and uh, i heard that this is asked in some 1993 prelims or something this topic was asked so it's a very old thing also because even the textbooks which you buy the solved question paper book in that it starts from 1995 so not sure if it's covered or not i have to again cross check it but this mitha Akshara system and Dayabhaga system, general one word I'll tell you, it is about inheritance, inheritance law, okay, meaning the property of father, it is going to uh, the son or it's going to daughter, it's going to adopted child, it is going to whom, that related systems are these things and it's not there in uh, standard books, that is why I call it tough. And whether it came in news, what is the reason for this question? Because a Supreme Court judgment in uh, 2021 only, 
that time uh, they mentioned about this the mitakshara school of hindu law codified as hindu succession act so mentioning is there but even if you read that article which is an editorial this is an editorial article so for prelims you would not have taken it seriously also even we who make mcqs from editorial we would not have made many questions for uh, prelims we would have made but we would have missed many also so that is the reason none of your coaching institutes also is not able to claim this question because it was not mentioned directly in a newspaper also meaning a recent newspaper okay old newspapers it will be there recent newspaper it's not there standard textbook it's not there so this mitakshara question was a difficult question answer i'll tell you it is two only okay so this again you sit and read this because it will take time this one is wrong and this one is wrong okay but two is right so this one again a separate session i promise you i will do it later and we will include it in our future test series also more detailing about this okay last question and which is the question which i hated the most also this time because they asked a place where something happened okay like this madanapalli of andhra pradesh it is not there in any of your standard textbooks so again if they ask this it is fine asking tough is the right of upsc and they have to ask it but if they ask a question which is tough after that options they design like everything which is in andhra pradesh and tamil nadu region then how is people going to eliminate it how is people going to solve it so here if you see many people used intelligent elimination and then solved it so we'll see how we can eliminate okay so here if you see patabi uh, sorry patabi sitaramayya he led the quit india movement from andhra pradesh okay again in andhra from here they are asking so this one in the this uh, kurnool circular and related things are there okay in andhra pradesh that thing is covered in your uh, spectrum and a little bit of i think ncert also and that is there in our test series also so that uh, knowledge if you had okay it is not madanapalle it is a little bit away from there that point if you knew you could have eliminated b but again you are stuck with ac and d and here if this was one easy thing which is there in your spectrum okay theosophical society the headquarters it was set up in adyar okay adyar in uh, tamil nadu okay madras adyar so that way d you can eliminate b you can eliminate but you are still stuck with uh, pingali venkaya okay and uh, rabindran tagore so this one answer is actually rabindran tagore if you had done it right or done it wrong anyway this question was supposed to be skipped if you had no idea because upsc did not ask any options with like one is in uh, uh, something far away one is something uh, muslim related uh, league related thing or they did not make it complicated they put everything which is in andhra tamil nadu region and you could not it was very close with very close and very tough so here finally if you see whether it was there anywhere you can go and see which will be a waste of time anyway your class 6th social and political life textbook that is the civics textbook you can take not history not geography not economics not uh, sociology it's there is a civics kind of textbook social and political life in that in the starting you know every textbook will have starting preamble janagana manan printed there they have given the translation of national anthem there so that translation in that below a small note is given this is translated by rabindranath tagore from bengali to uh, this thing uh, in february 1919 at madanapalle in district of chitur this i know you are not expected to study this so it is okay if you skipped it it's okay if you do not know it and it's okay if you don't go and dig out this textbook and sit and read it i am just showing you whether this is available in any ncert it is available in only this ncert okay so this is what i could search and find out for you and these were the history questions so conclusion is that out of the 21 questions everything is tough and so totally it is no longer an unpredictable psc exam which we call okay it has turned out into something more messy which i am just terming it as ugly psc exam so this is not like insulting the upsc or just because questions were not from our test series is not because of that because that is what many people will come and come and know question has to be tough if it's not tough then upsc is no like not good for writing okay it has to be tough it has to be better than all the other exams but the way they are picking up things and setting you options the time given is very poor okay in 2 hour a human being who is of any iq they cannot solve more than 50 questions okay so when you cannot solve more than 50 questions you cannot score more than 100 so your cut off is always now going to be below 100 that is what we are thinking all the years if this is the pattern going to happen and still if someone scores 140 160 which used to happen below before 2017 and all many people used to score like this if you are scoring then this person is either a genius or he has leaked the question paper from somewhere because it is humanly impossible to solve 70 to 80 questions because you need 80 plus questions to get this mark or 70 questions so this in 2 hour time slot it is not possible for a general uh, iq student okay how much ever you prepare you prepare for 2 years also you cannot score with this pattern this much marks so i am telling you the cut off will be less than 100 every year and this time it is going to be between 90 to 94 okay 90 to 94 for general category i am telling okay because it's very tough only thing is that vacancies are less maybe they can make it high else it is going to be very less cut off like last year okay last year it was 92 this time it will be between 90 and 94 okay and again analysis is taking the time you know like you could have guessed it now 
when the way i am digging out things you will know it will take time because we are giving you complete data not like simply giving you answer key like other people okay we are explaining you why where how and all so it is taking time please understand that vice versa upsc video will come many many comments come every day like please do the video please do the video you understand how much effort is required for this okay i am digging out and then presenting it to you it takes time so now also midnight post midnight i am doing this so please watch it uh, i hope you have seen till the end and then watch all the lectures okay because you are missing out things and next year you will again fail if you did not follow what we tell okay and i cannot tell you the date but it will surely come before that like the subject wise mini series i will try to do for you so that you get to see standard answer key from vicis and please make use of all the free things which is put in the thing and if you are new to this channel whatsapp me because through whatsapp you will get the first hand updates because others will take it time okay like youtube you will take more time to get things but in whatsapp you get the first hand information so please subscribe i'll wind up this video tell your comments in comment section thank you and have a nice day